you might have seen my recent video on small footprint antennas. Ideal for operating on the beach, they take up very little room, which is a benefit if it's fairly crowded. Today I'll demonstrate another. I'm just using a metal tape measure that can extend and I will vary its length according to the band I need to cover. Here's a closer look. This is the radiating element. And with the file, I've just filed away a bit where I need it to make contact. That will be trial and error. Just uh, lead with alligator clips going into the BNC socket. And then this is the fold out ground mat. And I can put that under the towel that I will sit on. So a very simple arrangement, takes up very little room but should hopefully get good results. As for the length of this tape measure, I think it's probably about 10 meters. If so, it might work as a quarter wave on all bands from 10 meters up to 30 meters, maybe even 40 meters. Because it's a quarter wave I'm aiming for, it will be quite low impedance, therefore I shouldn't need an antenna coupler possibly a bit of a compromise. A half wavelength or 5 8 might be a little bit better, might have a bit more gain, but I'm right by the water, so I should still get reasonable results with this quarter wave. These tape measures do flop around a bit, so just to keep it steady, I'll use this telescoping squid pole as a bit of a support. With me, I have a ball of string, I'll just make a little loop so I can then thread it onto the extended pole. That should help keep the tape measure stable. Well, it didn't work very well, so what I'll now do is tie the string to the very tip of the pole. That should work better, though I may need to change its length for different bands. Just trying it on 15 metres. It's 3.6 metres. So about a quarter wave. Oh, oh, oh. Looking at the SWR, the FT817's indicator is only relative. And it's three bars, so it's not quite one to one. But I'll see if I can make some contacts anyway. about 4 p.m. which is a bit early for European DX might be DX coming from the north but I'll try some FT8 and see if I can make myself detected anywhere Didn't need to wait for long, but got a reply from PY2MR in Brazil on 15 metres, and that's 13,000 kilometres away. Didn't spend much time out here, and overall had four contacts, all on 15 metres FT8. Still, I don't like the tape measure antenna very much. The tape measure itself weighs about as much, if not more, than a small antenna coupler, and about the same size as well. I couldn't get the VSWR uh, all that good. It takes a bit of time to change bands, more than if you're just using a single wire and an antenna coupler. So, overall, yep, yeah, it does work, but tape measure antenna, 
no, I think you can do much better for portable operating. So that's my thoughts. Maybe your experiences are different. Please let me know in the comments below if you, you've used a tape measure type antenna. Do you want to get the most from your portable QRP operating? Good antennas is a great place to start. Find out how I succeed with my two books, Hand Carried QRP Antennas and More Hand Carried QRP Antennas. They're big sellers with favourable reviews from all around the world. To learn more, visit vk3ye.com or search the titles on Amazon.